Hello, my name is Michael, and I study everyone's favorite insect, bedbugs. Bedbugs are obligatory blood-sucking external parasites. They have a long and ancient history with you, me, most humans. For centuries, we have used natural and man-made insecticides to suppress bedbugs. So why the profound resurgence in the past two decades? Increased global travel and movement of goods, and widespread resistance to insecticides perhaps mediated by their microbes. And of course, to many, they elicit the creepy factor because they're reclusive and they suck our blood in secret. But the question I most often ask is, what disease do they transmit? Nothing. And it's that which makes them so very unique in the world of biology. Every other blood-feeding insect or arthropod that you can think of is associated with some type of disease. Mosquitoes and biting flies, lice, fleas, ticks, mites, but not bedbugs. Perhaps their microbes are influencing here as well. The microbiome is the collection of all the microbes in a given system, including symbiotic, facultative or temporary, pathogenic, and the f those found on the surface. Our knowledge of bedbug microbiomes is extremely poor. And this is the key focus of my research. Bacterial species diversity of the common bedbug and the influence of their microbiome on their biology and life history. Already I'm seeing fascinating results. By analyzing their gut microbes, I've discovered bacteria known to degrade insecticides in several populations around North Carolina. This could offer new evidence towards previously unknown mechanisms of insecticide resistance in bedbugs. And they could acquire a myriad of blood-borne pathogens, including viruses like HIV, hepatitis B, and a host of pathogenic bacteria. But the pathogens don't replicate inside the host. And we still don't know why. And so using a microbe-free line of bedbugs I've established with antibiotics and compared to a normal line, my research demonstrates the influence of their symbiotic microbes on virus replication inside the host. Bedbugs will continue to plague humans well into the future. And as insecticide resistance increases, as our arsenal for chemicals for control decreases, the need for innovative control strategies is greater than ever. So as you see, the little things really do matter. And studying bedbug microbiomes holds tremendous potential value to unlock new clues about their biology we can exploit in the pursuit of novel control methods. Thank you for joining me today.